So uh, after fitting the engine back in the polo the other day with Stuart, we uh, let it run up a little bit. Um, and uh, after sort of 10 minutes of letting it run in and warm up, letting coolant go through it, oil round it, um, noticed a leak underneath. So we've uh, had to stop the engine. Uh, and I think the shaft seal around the oil pump's leaking. So uh, I'm gonna attempt to have a look maybe change the oil pump i've got a seal as well um so we'll see what we can do uh, i'm hoping not to pull the engine but maybe so let's see how we get on So what I've done here is I've taken the engine mount off, um, lowered the engine down on the jack so I can get to crank pulley, the crank itself and the oil pump which is there. Um, I'm going to try and attempt to uh, just release the cam belt but it's all, it's the top dead centre, it's on its markings. I can't really do much else than that. I'm hoping to just sort of peel the belt off temporary so I can get to the pump. Um, I'm just gonna stick a cable tie around this hole here to uh, just hold the belt in place so it, it doesn't really move. Um, not that I think it will make too much difference, but the other belt that is the two cams together, um, it just, that'll stay where it is. That's not gonna move. Um, I just have to make sure I get the the main belt back on the pulley down at the bottom. Let's see how we get on. That wasn't long. Uh, I think I found the problem. Um, looks like the seal has uh, folded back out on itself. So hopefully we might get lucky here. Uh, we might be able to just pick that out. I've got a spare rather than replacing the whole oil pump. We uh, just stick a new Febby Bilstein one in. Uh, let's see how we get on. See where it's split around the bottom here, which is why it's been leaking. I'm not sure why that happened, but I'll try and get this out.
thought I'd just do a quick debrief um, on what I, we managed to get done at the weekend. Um, as you can see on the video, we uh, found out that the seal on the oil pump had basically not been sat properly and the crank had basically chewed a massive hole in it, letting the oil out of the oil pump, causing me all the issues. Um, yeah, I've managed to put a new seal in there. I've pushed it all the way back onto its seat so it's sat properly. Um, I've ran the engine up. It's no more leaks. It's a couple of days on now. I've ran the engine up a couple of times to check more leaks. Um, it's been up to temperature two or three times since I've done the work. It's fine, um, it, it doesn't leak anymore and hopefully shouldn't leak anymore after. Um, just thought I'd give you a, a bit of a brief as to what else is going to happen with the Polo at some point uh, coming up. Um, I've got uh, bits to flock the dash. Um, I also want to completely strip out everything again out the inside. Uh, I don't think I'm going to take the wiring out as say, but I'm just going to pull it out, move it out of the way, and I want to repaint the whole inside of the car so um, it's just nice and clean, it looks fresh. Um, it possibly might be getting a cage, or at least a half cage, from uh, the seat head back uh, and tie that into the harness bar that's currently welded into the car as well. Um, so, yeah, we'll uh, see you on the next one. Um, enjoy. Enjoy.